All right. Hi. <laughs> Introduce yourself. And what band do you play in? I'm uh, I'm Dan from Straight from the Path. Okay. How did your band all meet each other? How did we all meet each other? Um, I used to be in a band on on uh, well, now they're on Rise Records called This Is Hell, and my old band and Straight from the Path used to play shows together a lot, and they all met in high school. But I uh, we used to play shows together a bunch, and then I quit my old band and I joined up with these guys. We all live within like 20 minutes of each other anyways. Cool. Yeah. How did you guys come up with the name? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because you got to ask them. Uh, okay. Because they actually started the band when they were all in like high school. Like this, oh, this Straight From The Past has been a band a lot of people don't know, but probably for like 8 or 10 years or so, but only been touring for like 2 years, so no one really knew about it until, mm -hmm. I don't even know where they got it. I get, you know what it, it probably is, I'm going to take a shot in the dark here, but it probably is just, it's straight from the past, so it's just like, you know, going and doing something your own way, you know what I mean? Not doing what everyone else does, not doing your regular 9 to 5 thing, just... The like kind conforming? Of, yeah, right, kind of just the cliche idea of uh, going and making your own path in, in your life. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Who are some of your biggest musical influences? Biggest musical influences? Uh, I got that, I got to ask that same question in like a different interview, and... We all, you know, we all have a very diverse, like, musical uh, background and bands that we like and stuff. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's like, don't do, don't it's smoke and drink. That. It's good. Um, we'll cut that no, out. but I, what what I said in the other one was that my my biggest influences are just uh, any band out there that really has uh, has some heart in what they do. You know what I mean? People that actually are are legit and. Um, really mean what they write about, you know? Any bands I can can do that really drive me to continue doing what I'm doing. Because we all grew up, you know, hardcore kids, like, in, in that kind of scene. Not not really in, like, the singy, screamy, really want to make money kind of scene. You know, we all grew up with uh, listening to bands that played in, in basements and everyone was, like, best friends and everyone looked out for each other and stuff like that. So bands that really, bands that really give a shit about what they're doing and aren't just, like... I'm doing this to meet girls or, or make money. Those are bands that really motivate me and bands that I'm, like, influenced by, you know? Okay. What's the craziest mm. thing a fan <laughs> has done to get your attention, if there was one? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> craziest thing a fan has done to get my attention in what sort of way? Like, one of the... Like... Like... <laughs> Yo, like, you know, like, try to get your attention, like, some way, like, I was like, Flash what time does the show start, and you're like, whatever, uh, and then I gave you a beer, and now we're just that could, This could be one of them. Um, I don't know, no, you know, not, nothing really, it's, it's pretty okay. easy to get our attention, I, I feel yeah. like we're just, we're just like everyone else at the show, you know what I mean, all the kids yes. that come out to see us, I try to make that pretty apparent with even kids if they want, like, an autograph or something. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know if I don't know if it comes off as like dick or anything, but if a kid asks for an autograph, I usually like to tell them like, "Hey, you <laughs> ash all over me." <laughs> but I like to tell them like, you know, you could <laughs> you could be doing the same thing that I'm doing. You know what I mean? I've just been playing drums for for a long time, and if you want to go play in a band, go play in a band. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Start a band and just go play some shows, and you don't have to do much to get my attention. Just say hi. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> what I meant to say was like whip your boobs out, and it, that's how it happens. Wait, <laughs> wave a twelve pack in front of my face. See, I have a twelve okay. pack in my car. Do you want a beer? <laughs> that works. If you could pick the perfect lineup, what bands would be on it? For like a tour? Yeah. yeah. Everyone else in my band is gonna disagree with me. But, um, but they're not here, so who the fuck is? Perfect lineup would be uh, uh, the original Guns N' Roses lineup, Alice in Chains, um, and then like bands that are still playing now. Uh, I don't know, there's so many. We've toured with so many like really, really cool bands. So I'm just going to say those. Uh, uh, the whole Young Money record label. Uh, Alice in Chains, the original lineup of Guns N' Roses, mm -hmm. and Rage Against the Machine. And then Fucking us. Fucking love us Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. So I freaking love Rage Against the Machine, so oh, yeah? good. Yeah, they're, they're probably, uh, they're collectively our, our favorite band. Sweet. Right. 
you describe each band member in one word. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shoot. Katy Perry has to be one of them. <laughs> uh, me. Don't subscribe myself. Um, you don't no, have to. to. Uh, Drew. Short. <laughs> Tom. Lazy. Ryan. Awesome. Me. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Why? You running out of questions? I don't know which ones to ask. Hmm. What song what? means the most to you? Um, we have a song on a new record. Uh, that's actually the I wrote the lyrics for. And I've never written a song. I'm the, I play drums, so I've never like written lyrics to a song before. But it's pretty cool because we wrote the whole album, and then we had to write all the lyrics. <clears throat> Um, kind of collectively because we weren't like rushed for time at all, but it was like we kind of had to get it done in like a short, like few weeks. So she's laughing. No, I'm about to burp. Oh, <laughs> right in the camera. But I, I wrote this one song on a new record that's called Mitra, and that's actually my younger brother's name. I have like a baby brother, and uh, it's kind of all about how uh, my dad's ex fiance had this kid. <laughs> And he's my baby brother. His name's Mitra. And uh, I kind of wrote the song about how I don't really get to see him that much because I tour all the time. And uh, she also kind of turned crazy, so I very rarely, rarely get to see him. And it's just uh, pretty much just all about being on tour all the time and trying. It's really, really hard to maintain relationships back home, whether even if it's like with family, you know. And uh, so with family, friends, and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> So that, that probably is the one that means the most to me. We don't play it live, but that that definitely one. That's obviously that would be the one. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Do you want any yeah. more? I don't know. What Anything you'd like to say to your fans there? Uh, thanks. Thanks for the support, and um, we're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of touring in this next year or so. We're putting out a new record next year, hopefully, and. Uh, yeah, thanks. Sincerely, from all of us, we uh, appreciate any sort of support.